Did you have to use code to make the plugin or is there a plugin creator? Yeah, I definitely had to use code. It was all written in C++. And it's funny because people keep asking me if I went to college for software engineering or like computer science. And I went to school for music production. I was working in a studio and then when COVID hit, obviously you couldn't really work. And some of my friends were taking a plugin coding class. And they're like, oh yeah, it's super fun, super easy. And they had just started it. And then so I joined them and turned out to not be super fun or super easy. <laughs> but by the time I got done with it, I was like, all right, cool. Like I've got this knowledge. Like let's do something interesting with this. What was the hardest part of making the plugin? Yeah, I have an answer for this one. See in the browser, the little slider, having the blue of the selected sound behind the slider was a nightmare to get working. Like I won't go through all the reasons why. Obviously it wasn't the hardest thing to do in the whole plugin, but it was definitely way, way, way harder than it should have been. Like days and days and days to get all the bugs out of the way. What was the main synth used for the plugin? Oh, well, we used a bunch of synths for the plugin, mostly Prophet 5, Jupiter 8, Deckard's Dream, Model D, Subsequent 37, Rhodes, Wurlitzer. But I think the Prophet 5 ended up with the most sounds that made it to the plugin. When I was picking the best sounds, I kind of randomized them so I couldn't see. I didn't want to know what each sound was. I just like picked them just by the quality, by how much I enjoyed playing them. So I'm not positive, but I'm almost positive the Prophet 5 had the most sounds that ended up in there. I should look. Any cool tips with sky keys? Yeah, something that I actually like doing is if you kind of take a textural sound and you use the reverse, but you turn off the fade in, you can kind of play little kind of like mini loops that sound pretty interesting like this. What are your five favorite sounds in the plugin? Ooh, this is gonna be hard because it'll change every day, but today's top five are, been using Ancient Choir a lot. I've been using Forgotten Baby a lot recently. I've also been using Flute Dusty a lot. I also love the quelled patch. And I also love the super duo sound. How did you name the sounds? <laughs> quickly. I named all the sounds when I first exported them and before I kind of whittled down which ones I wanted in the plugin and a lot of the names just kind of stuck with me and I started to like them over time even though a lot of them were kind of random originally and I also wanted them to be kind of nicely mixed up so there wasn't like seven identical sounds in a row so a lot of the times I would just change the first word of them to be in a nicer order. Yeah there's not much rhyme or reason to a lot of them. Why is the distortion effect not with the rest of the effects? Uh, that's kind of a good question so the distortion little flame right here i didn't originally have a distortion in the plugin um and i was showing it to a few friends and they all wish there was some type of like saturation in it and i was like uh, i didn't want to build out like a full effect for it but i was like oh i can just have fun with it so i made this little flame knob which i don't know i really like now <laughs> some people think it's kind of like unintuitive but i don't know i think it's great it's fun to play with and i like the way it looks and yeah and i like the way it sounds too what's the thing in the middle of the reverb uh to be honest, it just looks cool. I wanted to have like a visualizer for it, the same way I had a visualizer for the vibrato and the filter, but I, this is the coolest thing I came up with, so, so I left it in. Why aren't there more leads? Ah, uh, I see. Um, it's funny because there originally weren't leads when I first did all the sounds, and then I realized there should be, and so I just took other sounds and turned them into leads. They work great, but what you can do, pro tip, you click on a lead and you click on the lock, and then all of a sudden, every sound becomes a lead. How'd you make the sicko sound? Um, so the sicko sounds from this little Casio keyboard that was originally sampled to make the song that you're thinking of. Um, and I happened to have that keyboard and I was like, oh, it could be a little fun addition. And it is a fun sound. Um, yeah, I hope I don't get in trouble for it.
will you release preset expansion packs for sky keys in the future um to be honest not sure we spent so much time on the sounds we're really proud of them and i don't think anyone's really it hasn't been out long enough for you to be sick of the sounds so if i find a lot of people are actually sick of the sounds they've gotten a lot of use out of them then we'll consider it or if we find that we've missed out on a type of sound that we should have included we'll make something but as for right now no real plans on doing that we worked really hard on the sounds and um yeah so far so proud of them so yeah